congratulations on making it this far. I know we're running a little long today. Um, the EM wave and the sound wave wave equations are very, very important. So and they're a little tough, so we have to take a little more time. But this last thing, I promise you, it's actually much easier. You laugh and we'll get to it very, very quickly. We're extending the wave equation to three dimension because now that we're dealing with light and sound, those happen usually in three dimension and not just the one. The thing I have here is your 1D wave equation I write in this form. And as it turns out, to extend it to 3D, as long as you have Cartesian coordinate, meaning you have three orthogonal axes that doesn't rotate, that doesn't change, all you gotta do is just to put in the other spatial derivative because the all three direction kind of work independently. So p squared is equal to zero. So there it is, wave equation in 3D. Now let's quickly look at one of the uh, solution. And as you guessed it, we're looking at the plane wave. So the plane wave, as we remember in 1D, is a e to the i kx minus omega t. So you would expect in 3D, it's really not going to be that much difference. It's going to be kx times x plus ky times y plus kz times z minus omega t. Pretty much follows the same kind of expansion rules we have here. Now mind you, this plane wave we're working with is a little more general than the ones we've assumed so far. Uh, this has the freedom to allow the wave to propagate in the x, y, and z axis, so it doesn't have to go in the x. We chose it to propagate in the x direction for our derivation because it's easier. But in general, it doesn't have to be. Now, these k's still work the same as before. They are still our wave number. They still work more or less like a spatial frequency, especially with the complex exponential. This is showing us a sinusoidal or sine or cosine kind of variation as it goes through space. Now, if we re rewrite this a little bit, we're going to define a vector where we have kx in the i, ky in the j, and kz in the k, and also our positional vector, which you should be well familiar with, x, z, and k. We can rewrite this as the dot product between k and r, still minus omega t. Now this looks much closer to the 1d case except we have a dot product and a vector. It's only got, it still only depends on one dimensional because of this dot product. Uh, K here defines a certain direction in 3D space. And no matter what R we end up putting, say we use that position, the only thing that affects the phase is their dot product. And as you know, dot product makes projection. So it's the length of the projection along the k vector that determines the phase. So in other words, these plane waves, they're called plane waves because everywhere along a plane normal to the k vector will have the same phase and therefore will have the same value for the wave. So then you have these kind of planes propagating across perpendicular to your k vector. And thus, these are the plane waves. This is of course not the only type of solution. In the group assignment, we'll quickly look at um, a different type of solution based on a different 
corner system. But these plane waves are basically waves that travel in a single direction in 3D space and that direction is defined by this k vector and combine their k vector with the, the length of the k vector and the omega still determines the wave speed, k still plays the role of the spatial frequency, omega still plays the role of the temporal frequency and everything kind of transfer over like that. And so because even in 3D, we still have this kind of kx minus omega t form for the phase and that it still works in 3D, so we can transfer a lot of what we've discussed so far from our 1D wave on the string that we know and love already into the other waves we've just talked about, the light waves and the sound wave, because they're all governed by the same wave equation. And that's the beauty of the way we approach things in physics in that if it's governed by the same equation, they share the same solution and we can share a lot of properties as well. And that's it on 3D waves. Uh, we'll see you in class.